Hey everybody, we're back. Again, this is how we do an invasive test on a stucco home. We take a, a small hammer drill with a 3 16 bit. We want to drill two small holes about an inch apart so we can insert the moisture probe into the wall and it contacts the wood substrate beneath and gives us a moisture reading. So this is how we do it, okay? The drill is on a slight up angle so that the hole will always drain no matter what. <laughs> Once we have our holes through the stucco, we want to blow out any dust or dirt or anything that's in there that might get in the way of the probe tips. And the probe tips are Teflon coated, but they're also protected with shrink wrap, so there's no interference from the wire lath in the stucco. So this reading is 6.5%. We're going to double check it. Insert the probe. There we are, 6.4%. What that means is wood needs to have a certain amount of moisture in it to function for the cellulose fibers to hold everything together. The moisture content in a wood substrate should be between 6 and 15%. When the limit gets above 15%, between 16 and 19, it's just starting to leak and it needs some attention. Once we get above 20, 25% moisture content in the substrate, that's saturation of the fibers and we need to do remediation. But right now, this is a great reading. This is what we want to see. We're on the low end at 6% moisture. So again, one more time, we're going to blow those holes out. And then we seal up the holes immediately with an ASTM C920 approved sealant. We want to make sure we get the sealant all the way in. nice and neat and if this is done properly once the caulk dries virtually invisible this is rob lunny with lunny environmental visit us on our website for more information thank you